Hi guys, Jim here. Today's video I'm going to be showing you how to replace your Ford Focus 1.5 diesel throttle body. Let's get started. First step, we need to pull off the engine cover. The throttle body housing is on the left hand side of your engine. This is what it looks like here. It's got an intercooler pipe attached to it. It's held in with four bolts that are 8mm. An electrical plug you need to unplug. You need to undo jubilee clip this 8 mil here and this 13 mil nut here to pull the pipe from off and out the way of the throttle so to start off we're going to unclip the fuel pipes from off the intercooler intake pipe just pull off the little clips here you'll want to unclip the ones off the cam belt cover as well just to the left of it just to give you a bit of extra room then use a 7mm uh, socket or spanner to undo the Jubilee clip. Then remove the 8mm top intercooler intake pipe bolt. and remove the 13mm lower nut off the intercooler pipe as well. Now with all of those removed we can pull the pipe from off the throttle body like so, just pull it towards the radiator or towards yourself. You see me unclip the pipes on the side here, just to give me that extra bit of room. We pull that off and out of the way to allow you to get to the 8mm bolts. See three of the bolts are facing towards you and the fourth one is going from the back facing away from you. This is also the plug that we will need to unplug so we'll just unplug that while we're here. And this is where the other bolt is situated. You can get to that with a 8mm quarter drive and a quarter drive ratchet. Okay, now we can remove all of the bolts and pull the throttle body from off the gasket. The throttle body might be stuck on, even though the bolts are pulled up. Fine, you've done them all, just give it a little wiggle and it should pop off. It's always a good idea to replace this orange gasket if you can, to help prevent any future air leaks. If not, just make sure it's okay and clean.
Okay, so that's the old throttle body there. We'll just grab the new one and uh, we will refit it in the reverse order. Before we do refit it though, we need to make sure obviously the part is exactly the same as the old one. And just in case you're wondering, here is the part number for the new throttle body. For some reason the box says carburetor, it's not a carburetor, so... And again, just make sure it's exactly the same as the old unit. I haven't got any official torques for the bolts on this, but they are only 8mm bolts. They don't need to be up crazy tight, just use your best judgement, make sure they are tight, but don't overdo them. Okay, so now with the new one fitted, all we need to do is reset the fault codes. There's no need to program it or anything, it's just a plug and play thing, but you must make sure the fault codes are cleared, or you may have the same problem you've replaced it for, because it won't know it's got a new one on it. If you enjoyed the video guys, or it helped, or you liked it, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more. Until next time, peace.